Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kurani, host on Click Digest, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can root your brand new Xiaomi Redmi 2. Just to show you that it does not uh, have root permissions right now, I'll just run the root checker and show you that it does not have root access right now when I am starting this tutorial. This is just out of the box device, and I'll show you how you can do it step by step right from installing the CWM recovery ROM and then installing the root package and rooting it. And by the way, Xiaomi phones, if you root them, your warranty is still valid. It is not void. Xiaomi officially supports rooting the phones. To start with, you will need to install custom recovery on the phone. For that, you will first need to go to settings and in settings, you need to enable the debug mode. For that, you have to go to the menu, uh, setting menu, go to about phone, which is right at the end. Here you would find the MIUI version and just tap on it a couple of times. So you have to exactly tap it five times to get the developer options. After you have enabled the developer options, just go to settings. Here you will find additional settings and then go to the developer options, which is right here before the backup and reset. And here you need to enable USB debugging, which is required for flashing CWM ROM that is required further to root the phone. After you have turned on the USB debugging on your phone, you need to go to your PC and install the Mi Flash module, which will install all the drivers that you need. Basically, you need ADB and fastboot drivers installed on the PC, which are contained in this application that we are installing here. So just install it on your PC. I'm leaving links to download these three files that you would require for this process and you can download and save them in a folder for completing this process. You are likely to get warnings like this, uh, which says Windows can't verify the publisher of this driver. Just install the software anyway to proceed. After you have installed it, you will see a success message like this. Just press finish to complete the process. After you have installed the drivers and the flashing tool, you need to browse to this path, which is typically C drive, program files, x86, Xiaomi, me phone, Google, Android, and you will land at this folder. I'll show you the path again. You go to C drive, program files, Xiaomi, me phone, and Google. Just enter the Android folder here, and you are at the location where we need to be just to test that we have installed it properly. Hold the shift key on your keyboard and right click, and you will see this option which says open command window here, and it will open a command prompt like this just to check whether you are on the correct uh, folder just type adb version this is a command to check whether the adb has been installed properly if you see a version number like this that means it has been installed properly next step we need to do on the phone for that we need to turn off the phone so go to the phone and power it off after the phone has successfully turned off hold the power key as well as volume down key together at the same time for a few seconds and at the same time also connect it to the PC using the micro USB cable. This will also install some uh, drivers on your PC so that is normal. After the driver is automatically installed it will say Android bootloader interface ready to use and the phone says fast boot mode. So we are in the correct screen and there is a correct driver installed on the phone. So we can keep this here and do the rest on the phone. We have to give some commands, which are first is fast boot devices. I'm leaving this commands in the same sequence in the description section below the video. So you can copy it from there and execute them one by one. You will see this response after that. You need to copy the file that we uh, downloaded the image file that is the cwm recovery.zip and paste it to the adb folder which is the google android folder here and i will just extract it here I'll copy this and paste it to the 
folder which is here that is in the Android folder we need the recovery.img file which is the recovery image file here and then we need to give this command which is fastboot flash recovery recovery.img and press enter this command has flashed the recovery file onto the phone and now you need to give another command which is fastboot reboot this will reboot your phone and as you can see the phone is rebooting as soon as I gave this command this completes the process of installing CWM recovery now we can start the routing process which is also very easy to start the routing process we need to paste this file which is the update super su file to the root of the phone for that you need to connect the phone using a usb cable to the pc and copy this file that we have downloaded earlier browse to the path where the device has been detected and just paste it in the internal storage this is the root at where we are pasting the file and this is done rest of the process will take place on the phone after we have the file that we need to root the phone in the root folder we need to just restart the phone for that we just need to power off and we need to reboot in the CWM recovery mode for that once the phone is totally turned off we need to put the power key and the volume up key the volume down key will take us to the fast boot that we don't want so we'll hold the volume up key and the power key together which will take us to the CWM recovery and here we are on the CWM recovery mode on CWM recovery once you click on the recovery icon you will be taken to this uh, mode which is called the CWM based recovery here you need to select the install zip option and here you need to go to the second option which says choose zip from the last install folder it will take you to the SD card select the root folder which is 0 dot slash so I go here and here I have the update package that I have selected or pasted earlier which is the update su I just need to press the power key again and select this package it will start installing you just need to select uh, the yes install option and hit here after that it will start installing the root package and after it is done it will show you the option which says install from SD card complete after that you just go to the reboot option and restart the device which says uh, reboot system now the first option on top of the phone and here we are after the boot and just go to the root checker to verify whether the routing has been completed and it says congratulations you have the root access now you have a phone rooted you can do a lot more things to your phone after it has been rooted this is all we have on our tutorial we hope you enjoyed watching it if you did and if this helped you don't forget to give us a thumbs up post your questions and queries in the comment section below and we'll get back to you for more such videos from intellect digest make sure you hit that red subscribe button below the video box this is your host Rohit Khurana signing off thanks for watching yeah.